This is my intro. Hello everyone, my name is Max, and today we are here with uh, Velocity 2X. Yeah, I know, it's a weird one. Um, I got it free for PlayStation Plus, I think. I forget. But uh, it's a really fucking like cool, fun, fat, fast-paced game. Um, <laughs> fuck you, I'm a cool creature. Um, you're a member of a beach known as human. This is actually definitely a little bit more story. I forgot about this, but uh, yeah, it's a really fun game. Um, it's yeah, female. Ugh, rude. I'm fucking attractive. I'm gonna go really fast in this, by the way. Um, I've already read all this, so you know, I mean, I've pl I haven't pl I haven't finished the whole game. But I've gotten close, so... Um, oh, shit, I'm playing. Alright, how do I go? Yay! Alright, R. By the way, I turned on tutorial, so... Because I totally forgot what I was doing. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do either. Alright, let's just go forward then. I know I can shoot. Somehow. Maybe I can't. Can I shoot? Jesus, I forget. Alright, well, see there's... Oh, my God. There it is! Boom! Oh my god, yes. This game is just so fast-paced. Which, by the way, I don't know if I've ever said this on a video. I love space. I love spaceships. I wish there was a game where you literally just flew. <laughs> I'm saying this and I'm gonna just, you know, repeat it again later. Um, I wish there was a game where you just flew spaceships and explored planets. Huh, sounds like a game that might be coming out soon. Uh, no Man's Sky? Yeah, maybe? You know, anyone heard of it? you probably never heard of it, right? Because No Man's Sky is, you know, you know, just a... Ooh, time, not good enough, but... You know, No Man's Sky, just a, it's just an indie game that no one really knows about, so... And we'll have to see if... It might, it might get, like, a couple hundred, uh... Hundred, uh... Cells. Cells? Sold? It might sell a hundred copies, there we go. But no, this game is fucking awesome, and I am actually, I've been talking with my girlfriend, uh, not quite a bit, but a little bit about No Man's Sky, because we both have kind of different, uh, views about it. So I think, you know, personally, that that game's gonna be, okay, well, actually, no, we both think it's gonna be fucking awesome, right? I mean, if, if this game turned out with its quintillion planets, we both think that this game would be awesome, where we differ is um if it's actually going to like be good or if it's you know just gonna be like a bunch of the same planets a quill uh, uh we need to go back we need to go back how do i go back there we go i missed something did you see it let's see if anyone saw it and it's wait i don't need to do this anymore right over here yeah see that Nothing, and I died. Wow, okay, well, that was fucking, that was a little embarrassing, but, you know, let's, let's go ahead and just ignore that. I'm not, I'm not here to go fast, except I kind of am, but, uh, <laughs> so she thinks that, you know, this, this game is going to be fucking awesome, you know, and, like, she's, there's no, like, oh, this concept is cool, no, it's, this game's gonna be awesome, I can't wait for it. I think this, that concept is awesome, but I don't think the, I just, I mean, they say stuff like quintillion planets, and I just don't, I don't get how the, how it's gonna happen. I just feel like it's just gonna be either really glitchy, really you know broken, and you know the planets are gonna or the planets are just gonna be very uninteresting. There's not gonna do anything except look at planets, which you know I think is kind of cool, but like also at the same time I would expect a little bit more. You know, I mean, I'd, I want some content, but at the same time, you know. Like, I don't know, it just, I don't, no one really has seen gameplay, like, what do you do outside your ship? You're supposed to go on the planet, and then what? I think you, like, scavenge items, like, it just, something about it, I'm just a little worried about, I'm not 100% sold, and, and a lot of people are. I've, I've seen a lot of posts online, just like, don't get me wrong, I want this to be fucking awesome. I think the concept is fucking awesome, but... It's a very, it's not even like a full team, it's, a, it's like an indie team, it's like a small group, and it just, it's so confused, it's like, you just can't wrap your head around, like, how could they make something like this? And if so, why has no one done it before? Granted, you can say that about anything, like, well, you know, I don't know, I was gonna say Max are great, but they're not great, but let's pretend that Max are great, it's like, well, why did no one do it before? Like, well, no one invented it, and now they're inventing it, but I just... Something about it, I'm just like, you know, I just, 
I'm not gonna immediately hold my breath. Like, this is gonna be my favorite game. It would... Oh, I missed a couple survivors. Do I go back? No, I'm not gonna go back. I'm too evil. I'm a, I'm a bat... Ugh. Damn it, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm an evil Captain Kirk. Which, by the way... Uh, I forget if I said anything. I'll go back onto it after No Man's Sky. Uh, I love Star Trek. Anyways. Um, whoa. What's this? Oh, never mind. I keep going. I keep trying to go really fast. Oh, god damn it. All right. One, two, three, four. And then there's the big one. There it is. Got it. But no, um, I think I... I am fingers crossed. I am rooting for this team, for this, not this team, this game to be awesome. I know, I just, I hope it's awesome. But at the same time, I'm not going to be like, this game is awesome. It's going to be awesome. Because I don't have faith, you know? I, or I don't have, I have faith. I'm just scared. You know, I don't want to invest in something that I hope is good. Because shit like the Mighty Number no. 9 happens, you know? That game was supposed to be amazing but you know what it turned out to be a real pile of garbage and you know you just until the final product is there you just can't say anything about it but i just you know i'm hoping it's good and i hope that no man's sky actually has its quintillion planets and it's super big and blah 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 and uh, yeah so because you know if it is or even if it's not to be honest i'll probably do a let's play in it because i you know i love the game whoa Alright. I forgot about this part of the game. Sweet. Let's do it. Brilliant. Yay. Let's move. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Slide. Woo. There we go. Easy. Wow. X is everything. X is slide. X is jump. <laughs> wow. Alright. There we go. Alright. Nothing over there. Sweet. But no. Um, I'm hoping that... Uh, um, no Man's Sky is good. You know, I... It's nothing that... It's not the fact that I don't want it to do good, so... Um, if it is good, I'm definitely doing... Well, if it's not good, if it is good, I'm... No matter what, I'm probably gonna buy it, just because I... You know, I hope it's good. And if it's not, I'll be a little sad, but... You know, I'm sure... I, I, they can't just give out a product that doesn't do anything, right? Right? Yeah. But anyways, let's talk about Mighty Number no. 9, man. I am... Like, I'm not a big Mega Man fan, but I know people who are, and that, see, that is, ex that, stuff like that is exactly why you can't trust what people say, you know? Which, granted, I'm not saying that people who make, you know, uh, whatever, No Man's Sky are, you know, untrustworthy. It's just, it's, you just gotta, ha you just have to watch out for that stuff, because, I mean, Mighty Number no. 9, he, I remember the article said something like, you know, like, oh, well, blame everything on me. But, like, you know, budgets were, you know, didn't have a lot of budget, didn't have a lot of time, you know. And it's like, all right, well, first of all, you had $4 million. Like, I'm sure you could have done something good. Because I'm sure Mega Man, nowadays, would cost, like, 7 bucks to make. Because it's like, because no one's asking for good graphics or anything. You know, people just want Mega Man, again, you know. Just make a knockoff Mega Man. That's all you need to do. But, <laughs> and that stuff like that, it just... Stuff like that really pisses me off, because it's like, <laughs> this is why no you can't make a game unless you have, like, you can be an indie team, right? But you have to be, you know, you have to be working with Sony or Microsoft. Like, you can't just be an indie game developer, really, anymore. Like, there's no, like, there's no Super Meat Boy, there's no Fez. Because, I mean, if no one's going to let you, no one's going to buy it unless, you know, you have a big name now. Like, oh, Sony is, I don't know, free PlayStation Plusing this game or whatever and it's like <sighs> it sucks but i mean like i understand why it's happening obviously because you know sony wants to, oh, sony is helping indie games which is good i'm happy that sony is helping indie games but yeah it's just <sighs> i don't know i just feel like the fact that people break their promises and stuff like that like M mighty number no. nine is why people won't like invest in a game unless it has the backup of, like, Sony or something. Because, you know, something like Super Meat Boy, no one knew if it was going to be good or not. With Fez, no one knew it was going to be good. But, you know, they're like, alright, well, let's take a leap of faith. This looks really interesting. And they turned out to be great games. Now, you go on, like, you can go to, whatever, Kickstarter. There's going to be tons of, tons of video games that are, like, want to be, like, hey, fund us, you know, we need money. 
And then, like, what, a week later, they're like, ah, fuck it, we're not doing this anymore, thanks for the money, though. And people are like, well, okay, that's fine. And they're like, okay, well, how about uh, Kickstarter, like, Mighty Number no. 9? Or, there's one that was announced at E3. Um, there was some fighting game, number 3 or number 2, and everyone was freaking out about it, and it's still, just nothing's being released about it. So it's just like, I mean, games like these, like, well, yeah, I do I want... Like, indie games? Absolutely. Indie games are great. I love indie games. But, I understand why people wouldn't buy them. And I also understand, or I also, uh, won't buy into a game. Like, you know, I don't, I don't reserve anything anymore. You know, or pre-order. You know, like, pre-order now at GameStop and you get, you know, whatever. It's like, no, I'm, I'm never pre-ordering. I mean, granted, it's not that big of a deal with GameStop because, you know... I worked at GameStop, by the way. It's you literally you can just take your money back. Like, I don't want to buy this game anymore. And they're like, okay, fine. Here's your 50 bucks. You know, <laughs> so it doesn't actually matter. But with stuff like Kickstarter and stuff, it does matter because you're not getting that money back. It's not like, oh, we're not making this game. You know, here's your money back. You know, somehow they get away with it and they can be like, oh, well, you know, thanks for your money, but I'm not making a game. Or you know, you buy the game. You have to literally buy the game, and they're like, all right, here's the finished product, and it is just absolute garbage. And you're like. Well, this isn't what I fucking paid for. I paid for whatever you described. It's like, well, this is... Uh, technically, this is what I described. And it's just like... Yeah, it just causes fucking issues for the indie development. And it's... It's upsetting. And I don't enjoy the fact that... People are allowed to just... Bring out shitty content and just be like... Well, sorry, but you already funded me, so... Nothing really I can do about it. I'm just gonna take your money. Again, sorry for the water. But I'm getting fucking hated right now. I want to see more respect in the video game community, all right? I don't want to see no Kickstarters. I want to see some kicking ass in those making of the video games. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no bullshit like Mighty Number no. 9. I want some hardcore, hard fucking work from people who want to take money from other people to make a game. Holy shit. No, did I want to do that? I wanted to do that. All right. All right. Lights on board of green. But it's a disgrace. To even see a game like Mighty Number no. 9 come out. Four million dollars. You can't make a better fucking product than a fucking piece of shit like that. You know what? Yeah. Just makes me sick. It's exactly why. Uh, what's this? Hey, alright, shoot the switch. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Boy, I should make, I should just make a channel where I just talk. And then I feel like that would be a little bit better, you know? Because then I can just talk about whatever I want and not have to worry about playing video games. Or if I do... Oh my god. Yeah, I've thought about this and I should just do it. I should just make my girlfriend play games. Oh, I missed a survivor. But yeah, think about it. You know, like, hey, babe, play... She likes Bloodborne. Play Bloodborne. Okay, I'm going to talk during it. And, you know, we'll talk together. But you're going to play it so I can not talk like an idiot like I usually do. But, oh, there we go. <laughs> But no, it is, it is absolutely stupid. I mean, stuff like this should just not be allowed. Uh, like Mighty Number no. 9. It just... I just think there should be some sort of code or standard about how things get created. And this isn't just a video game thing. This is Kickstarter in general. But I mean, that's the thing. I mean, people like Kickstarter say, like, we are not responsible of, like, giving your money back. You know? Like, they're not... Because if they were, Jesus, they would, they would never make money. You know? But it just... Yeah, they should fix that. They should have something in there that's like, you know what? If this is to your disliking, you can you can take your money back. You can be like, you know what? I don't want this product anymore. Uh, I want my money back. And I mean, yeah, that actually that's perfect. Why? That was just a great idea right there. I didn't even, I didn't even mean for that great of an idea, but I thought about it. Refunds. Refunds are something that happen everywhere. Everyone gets a refund. All right. You can literally probably eat ice cream and be like, actually, you know what? I didn't enjoy that. I want my money back. And you know what? Dairy Queen or whoever you ate that ice cream from is going to be like, well, shit, all right. You know, here's your money back. Because, you know, I mean, people can use that as a shitty excuse to, like, get something, obviously. But, you know, sometimes with stuff like Kickstarter, if you know, you can get fucking ripped off. And I think refunds and Kickstarter should be a thing. Because, I mean, I think just stuff like that, like Mighty Number no. 9... You should be able to get your money back for that shit. I mean, the, the, it's literally like as if they didn't even, I mean, they obviously tried, but like, obviously they, 
you know, they took the money, they built the hype up, and then they didn't deliver. And you know what? You can feel, I, you know what? Hey, okay. You can feel bad all you want. You can be like, you know what? I mean, you're kind of being kind of mean because, you know, I'm sure they didn't want this game to be bad, right? What the fuck? Uh oh, I got blown up. Or I didn't get blown up. I hit the field. So, like, yeah, obviously no one wants their game to be bad. But you know what? If you don't deliver, that's just the way the fucking world is. And there should be a way to get your refund. I mean, <laughs> think about it. You think if Call of Duty had a bad game, people would just be like, Oh, that's, you know, that's too bad, you know? And I'm like, no, this is fucking Call of Duty, you know what? You said you are going to bring out this product. It's shit. I mean, Call of Duty's always shit, but, you know. Lol, that's, I'm just kidding. If you like Call of Duty, there's nothing wrong with that. But, <laughs> you know, like, stuff like Call of Duty. If Call of Duty came out with, like, garbage, like, Mighty Number no. 9, people would be furious, you know? They would be like, I'm not buying this shit. Or, like, I want my money back. I didn't, you know, I pre-ordered, you know, whatever. I pre-ordered for... Call of Duty Ghosts, and I got Call of Duty... I don't fucking know. Anyways, it's just something like that. Like, with a big name, it wouldn't matter, but for an indie game, it... You know, it does matter that... Or wait, no. Let me repeat. No, opposite. For an indie game, it doesn't matter if it's bad, because it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm sure they're trying, you know? But, like, I mean... People make it sound like, okay, what, like, people didn't try at Activision to make a game? I'm sure they're not trying that hard, because this is the same game every time. But, <laughs> they're still making a game, alright? They're still making a product, alright? And if they, you know, they deliver on what they say they're going to deliver, you know? I mean, have you ever been disappointed with a Call of Duty game? Probably not. You probably got exactly what you wanted. You got, I don't fucking know, uh, the new guns, and the new ma multiplayer maps, and better servers, and you got your five minute story campaign so but like <laughs> with stuff like kickstarter it's like i don't know i just feel like they don't take it they take it too lightly they i was gonna say they don't take it lightly no they do take it they take it too lightly how badly these guys can rip people off you know i mean if the one dude the mighty number no. nine character which i don't know because i've never really been a fan of Mega Man. if he really felt bad about the game he'd be like all right i'm gonna give a refund and he might you know what i'm sorry if he did in that case, I guess, you know, apply this to someone else, because I'm sure it's fucking happened before. But, <laughs> maybe not just, oh, fuck. Uh, yay, sweet. Oh, no! Damn it. I missed the energy pack, but that's fine. But no, like, <laughs> you know, if you really were feeling, oh, my God, I keep going way too fast. If you really did care, you'd be like, you know what, I'm... I'm actually going to give back a, like, here's a refund of the game that I made. It's not what I wanted. If you want your money back, you can have it back. You know, and it's like, wow, that's, you know, that would be a good thing to do. But I'm sure, I just feel like he probably didn't do that because, you know, he already has spent the money and he's not going to fucking just give that shit back because or else he'd be fucking a lot in debt and he'd be in a lot of shit, you know? So he, he probably can't do that. But the thing is, if he can't, uh, I just... You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I get where people might have issues like, well, okay, I didn't mean for the product to be bad. And, you know, but like now it is bad and I'm sorry. But the thing is, if it's like that, well, that's, you know, that's the risk you take when you make a product. All right. If you're making a product and you're trying to sell it to people and you don't deliver, that's not, you can't expect them to just forgive you. You know, you can't just be like, well, you know, like I really did try. It's like, well, you know, sorry, but that's not how this works. You know, it's not, you can't expect someone to forgive you. People have the right to just have their money back if you did not deliver a product good enough. So, I don't know. Why am I so fucking heated about this? I'm, by the way, I've never, I've never been scammed or anything. I've never, like, again, I don't pre-order anymore. I don't really know why I'm so, like, <laughs> passionate about this. No, hey, let me out. There we go. Like, I'm talking, like, as if I got scammed right now. Like, and it is fucking bullshit. I bought Mega Man and I was fucking furious. No, I did not buy, or not Mega Man, Mighty Number no. 9. I didn't buy any of that. Uh, so I don't know why I'm talking like so pissed off or like so passionate. Maybe it's because I care for the people who did get ripped off. That's, I think that's it. But, <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, just to clarify, yeah, I've never been ripped off by Kickstarter. I've never, I've never Kickstartered or anything like that a single thing. You know why? Because shit like that happens, where, you know, the product is not what you expect it. Because, I mean, think about it. People just put on there, like, wow, wouldn't this be a cool idea? I'm going to make this. Like, I'm going to make a a cooler that gives you a blowjob and then also hands you a beer. And you're like, wow, that's my two favorite things, beer and blowjobs. 
And it's like, yeah. And then he's like, well, I actually can't make that. I just thought it'd be, you know, that'd be a cool product, though. And it's like, oh, well, that, okay, well, why'd I pay for this product then? When it's just a cooler that is always warm and doesn't even have beer in it. And it doesn't give me a blowjob. So it's like, I don't know why that's my cooler. Uh, I won't be making that in Kickstarter because I don't know how to make that. But it's stuff like that. It's just, hey, gems. Can I get them? Oh, I can. Sweet. That's really tedious, though. There we go. But yeah, no, it's stuff like that. It's like people just put products on whatever uh, Kickstarter. Even though they can't do it, they just think it would be a good product. And it's like, that shouldn't be allowed. I mean, there should be some verif... Oh, what the fuck? There should be some verification, like, hey, this person actually, like, is an engineer. Or actually, you know... Oh, God, I keep jumping too early. Is actually someone who, I don't know, knows how to build coolers or whatever. I just feel like... I feel like anyone can make a product. I could go on Kickstarter right now and be like, Hi, I'm a random fucking dude, and I want to build a spaceship that will take you to fucking Mars, and it's gonna give you a beer and a blowjob, you know? And people are like, well, I mean, I don't really want to go to space, but beer and blowjob sounds good. So I'll take it, but, like, you know, I, I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. I can't do shit. I don't know how to make a rocket ship that gives you a beer and a blowjob. I can only make a rocket ship. JK, that's not true. I can't make a rocket ship either. But, it's just... Yeah. It's just... I don't... Why am I so... Why am I so passionate about this? I don't know why. I... I've never... I've never been scammed. I don't know! Wow, that was... That was really fucking intense, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't... Sorry. That was a really long tangent of me just not... I don't know. I guess... I guess the, the moral of the story is I don't like, uh, I don't like Kickstarter, I guess. I mean, I, you know, it could be good if, you know, the, oh shit, I keep going too fast. I'm, I'm not, I'm not fast enough for this game, but, oh, that's why you're supposed to stay at the bottom when you're boosting. I think you're, I keep thinking you're supposed to stay at the top. No, you're supposed to stay at the bottom. That's the way to do it. I remember now. Yeah, there we go. And mine will explode if you touch it. Alright. Wow, that was... Boy. Don't give me something tougher than that. But, uh, oh god. <laughs> but no, I... Yeah, I just... Alright, anyways, everyone... Alright, I'm done. I've, I've already said, yeah, I don't... Oh god. I don't like Kickstarter. I think it's a, a dumb idea. And I don't think it's a dumb idea, but I think if, there, if you are going to do a Kickstarter kind of thing... Do your research. Make sure it's someone who actually has made something. And even then, you know what? If you're spending your money, just be prepared to, to lose it. You know? If you're kickstarting, you gotta just be like, Well, I mean, you know what? I really want this product, even if I won't actually get it. That's kind of how you have to think. And anyone who's on Kickstarter who... Alright, wow. I'm saying, if anyone watches my videos and does Kickstarter... And it's like, alright, buddy, you know, Max, listen up. No one's watching this fucking video, alright? No one knows what Velocity 2X is. And nobody's watching your video ever, so let's calm down, huh? Alright? Let's just say, um, to people, if anyone watches this somehow, and you are a Kickstarter person, and you're upset by my comments, then, uh, make a, make a really awesome product, and, uh, I'll buy it. I'll straight up buy it. I don't care what it is. I will buy it. But I'll buy it after you make it, so... Yeah, um, I act like I'm at, I'm like ending the video. I still got like seven minutes, so let's go ahead and just uh, blow up some. Oh, fuck. Oh, I know what I can talk about. I like Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> now that we're like almost kind of done with the video, let's talk about fucking Star Trek, eh? I love Star Trek. Star Trek is a fuck. Ah, god damn it. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. You know what? That's what happens when you're not putting your head in the game. Fuck, there we go. But yeah, uh, Star Trek, I've, <laughs> I say I love Star Trek, I'm not, like, that big of a nerd, but I'm not one of those people that's like, I love Star Trek, I've seen the movies, and it's like, wow, okay, everyone's seen the movies, have you at least seen the good ones, like, The Wrath of Khan, and they're like, no, I've seen the, you know, I don't know what the guy's name is, but, ow, uh, who's, Chris Pratt, I think it's Chris Pratt, yeah, no, not that, not that Star Trek, I'm talking, I've only watched, uh, the really old school Star Trek with, you know, my boy, Captain Kirk and Spock, you know, rest in peace. 
Now those, that's the good Star Trek. That's the Star Trek you want to watch. If anyone, if anyone's like, what should I watch to get into Star Trek? Um, so you're going to get a lot of different opinions, but my opinion is the originals. It's just, they're the best. You, you just can't top them. They're beautiful pieces of work. There's nothing better besides maybe a beer and a blowjob from a cooler. But I mean, oh shit. Yeah, it's it's super funny. I love it. I love literally. If there's something on, if I'm like on Netflix, I'm like, you know what? What the fuck am I gonna watch? You know, like just what what am I gonna watch? And then you just look at Star Trek, and you're like, God, I'm so happy this is here. Because boy, it just you can watch an episode. You can watch an episode after you're like, you know, let's say your entire fa Ugh, I keep dying. Your entire family dies, and you know your favorite orphanage burns to the ground. Everyone's dead. You could watch an episode of Star Trek and you'd be like, you know what? I'm pretty fucking happy with that, actually. You know, like, I'm I'm happier now because that that movie is a pick me up, not movie. That show, Captain Kirk is an inspiration to everyone. And boy, William Shatner, I I just love that guy so much. He's just such a good guy. I hope he's in the new movie, which I haven't really looked at, but I'm actually I'm pretty excited for the start the new Star Trek movie. Because it looks like they're actually going to, like, different planets and, like, doing what they usually do in the show. Like, you know, going to different planets. So, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. But at the same time, I've seen the last ones. Um, I was under... Ah, I was underwhelmed by Khan, you know. But, that, I mean, I, I'm just kidding. I fucking enjoyed it. But, you know, at the same time, like, it's like, it's not the same. It's just, it's nowhere near the same. What am I saying? It's it's nowhere near the same as the show. Because the show, it, like, you know, at least in, like, the movie, they try to be kind of serious, right? The show, there's nothing serious about it. There's nothing. Uh, hey, I got a trophy. Sweet. Like, <laughs> literally, it's like Captain Kirk. There's one chick who, like, always wants to fuck Captain Kirk. And he goes, like, nah, sorry. I'm, like, the, my only love is my ship, which I love. I love that comment. Just, oh, Captain Kirk. Oh, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. I love you. Take me on your ship. And then Captain Kirk goes, I'm sorry, honey. The only thing I love is my ship, the Enterprise. And you're just like, God damn it. And, like, usually, like, they're, like, 1960s, like, a weird, like, every time they're on screen, they have, like, the most beautiful skin because they're, like, super, like, I don't know what the word is, like, highlighted, I guess. Uh, basically, like, they become, like, super saturated i don't know basically they have like a setting on the camera where basically like there's their skin complexion is beautiful and they like shine and it's like wow captain kirk you're really gonna give that up for a ship and it's like of course he is it's captain fucking kirk why the hell would he why would he ever have sex with a bitch when he can have sex with a ship you know i mean i don't think that's like that's like relationship goals right there if you want ah shit if you want relationship goals, that's the goals that you want. You want to be as in love with your girlfriend as Captain Kirk is in love with his ship. Like that, those are some good fucking goals. So, Also, no man left behind. You're all dying. Or not man, robot. Alright, I'm going to finish this level and then uh, I will end the video. So, let's, ow. let's get through this, huh? Come on, I know we're all excited to see me leave. I know everyone's bored. No one's bored. No one's watching. But, you know, if you were watching, I'm sure you're bored. But, uh, yeah. Captain Kirk, or Star Trek, that's the... Watch it, my friends. Watch it. I just went right through that. Oh, my God. Oh, I did not expect this. We gotta, we gotta go fast. We gotta go real fast. I was, uh... Yeah, I, I was not thinking about how, you know... Wow, words. Uh, eh. I was not thinking about how close I was to ending the video, but not realizing, like, maybe a level isn't, like, seven seconds long, so... Like, they usually are, so I should... Yeah, let's go. I'm skipping everything, but that's okay. Hey, go down. Oh, idiot. Right, there it is. Well, that... Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's go. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for this. See you guys later. Also, I'm missing a bunch of gems, which is terrible, but that's fine. How do I get up there? Eh. 
There we go. That was kind of annoying. I'm not sure why they made me do that. Alright, there it is. Go, oh, got that. There we go. Come on, move. Move it, soldier! There we go. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Please tell me there's not, like, a boss fight at the end of this. I... <sighs> Boy, this, uh, this level ain't going too well for me. There's gonna be a boss fight after this, isn't there? I can just... I can feel it. I can feel the boss fight. Oh, my God. Well, it's close to a boss fight, but not... Not... Not necessarily, so... Come on, let's end it. It's 30 minutes. I keep going over. I say 30 minutes. There it is. All right, everyone. So that last seven minutes was probably terrible because I just said Star Trek, Captain Kirk, and went, oh, my. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but at least at least watch the Kickstarter part. That's the good part. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. This is my outro. Yay.